What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of CG Universities. Now, today, I'm going to show you how you can do more with notes on the iPad. All right, once again, welcome to my iPad. Now, as I said just now, I would like to show you the new feature in notes on the iPad. Now, first, let me launch the notes. Okay, so in notes, right, uh, one of the major updates on the iOS 11 is that now you're able to pin your notes. For example, I have a few notes over here or sometimes you have even more notes. And when you want to search for notes, right, it's very hard for you to search. So if you, let's say uh, this notes is important to me, what I can do is that I can just swipe to the right and I can just tap on this pin and it will automatically go up. Okay, meaning it will always stay on the top. So it's easier for me to access. So this is what you can do if you have some important notes that you always wanted to access, you can just pin it up and it's easier for you to access and find it. And next, I'm going to show you is the scan document. Now scan document is one of the major updates also for the notes in the iOS 11. Now let me just create a new notes. Okay. Now what you can do is that when you see on the language predictive uh, bar, you can see this little plus icon over here. Just tap on the plus icon. And you can see scan documents on the first option. Now let's just tap on the scan document. Okay, let's say I have a notes here. Okay, what I can do is that I'm just going to scan. Okay, let it scan for a while. Okay, so it'll capture by itself when it detects the notes. Okay, so once I'm done, I can just access this. This is the notes that you've scanned. Now, if you want to make it better and uh, tidy up, crop it, you can always come to the crop option, which is on the first option on the top. Okay, now let's just tap on it. Now, I can actually adjust it nicely to fit the paper. Now keep in mind, you might want to just scan this document, uh, any documents on the contrast background. For example, if you have a white paper, it's best that you scan on the darker background or black background. Okay, it's easier for the document itself to be scanned. So once you're done, just tap on done. And that's it. Now, let's say you want to change the color. Okay, you want to make it black and white or you want to make it like a photo. You can always come to the filter option, which is the second option. Okay, the filter feature. Just tap on it. Now, you can choose. You want it to be the gray screen, black and white, or even as a photo. Okay, so usually if you want to print it out, it's best that you choose gray screen or black and white. Okay, and once you're done, just tap on done and tap on save. That's it. Okay, so you have a document scanned on your notes. Now let's say if you want to share these notes to your friends or family, okay, you have two options to do that. One is that you can directly share this uh, notes over here. Just tap on the share, okay, and you can just share. Now when you share this way, it will share the whole entire notes. What if you just want to share the documents? Now you can just tap on the documents. Okay. And then tap on the share. You can see create PDF. Now tap on create PDF. Now once you share from here, all right, your friends or family will actually receive as a PDF file and only receive this scan document instead of the whole notes. Okay. And in here, of course, you can do some markup. Okay, you can just let's say you can just sign and you can share so it's very convenient and very easy for you to edit and share to your friends and family once you're done just step one done and you can choose to save or you choose to delete for now i will just delete the pdf and i just step one done and that's it and then i want to show you is add table now you can actually add table in the notes which you can't do it in the previous ios now how you do this is that you can actually choose on the second option which is over here. Okay, you can actually tap on it and it will come out a table. So from here, you can actually uh, just create a new table. For example, you can just press task, time, and you can just go on and forth. Okay, so you can create notes in here. It's easy for you to manage and also be productive. And of course, you can also add some points. For example, over here, you can actually add some bullets, right? You can just, uh, for example, you have a shopping list, you want to get some uh, toilet roll, you want to get um, a shirt, 
dish, all these things. So you can actually do it right here as well. It becomes like a reminder or checklist for you. Okay. And next, what you can do is that you can actually do inline drawing. Now, in the previous iOS, you can only draw in the new window. But now you can actually draw inside the notes itself. Meaning, I can just draw right here. Okay. Right, I can change color. I can even highlight this and move it to here. Right, it's very convenient and it's very customizable. Okay, which is you can see you can you can still see everything that uh, you have in the notes. Okay, and another cool thing is that you can actually add lines as well. You just have to go to the share icon over here, tap on it, and you can see lines and grids. So just tap on line and grids. You can choose. You want to have um, lines over here, or you want to have, you know, brackets. Is it for you to draw something? Okay, or even um, bigger brackets. So in here, you can actually draw on the brackets. Of course, you can draw other places. Okay. So this much, uh, pretty much I'm going to share with you today on how you can do more with notes. And I hope you learned something new in this episode of CG Universities. And I hope to see you soon in the next episode. Goodbye.